Uh, yeah, and first of all, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, that's that's by far the hardest thing of all the videos is keeping a straight face. Yeah. I think um, my brother and I do about uh, eight to ten takes, and the reason why we have to do so many takes is it's so hard keeping a straight face because I know I'm talking nonsense. I know I'm trying, <laughs> so that's that's the hard thing. So. <laughs> Keeping the straight face is probably the hardest thing about the videos. I mean, it's easy to come up with the content, but yeah, it's just yeah, it's, it's hard to take, it's hard to to do with the straight face. But yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, what I find so interesting is that you've actually been doing this since 2018. Like now that this is the reaction you're getting, because it's certainly got a lot of people talking. What do you think it is about people responding to this now when you've been at it for now close to two years? Um, I think well, I think that when I started doing it, it was just obviously just for my friends and just um, the following was very little. So it's just for my friends. I think um, I think now also being locked down, a lot of people are at home. A lot of people are looking at their phones. Um, so I was just I was, I was just I think it's, it was crazy. And over December, I think um, with Christmas lunch and everything happening, people just happen to find something they can relate to, and then it's just it's just sparked such a big interest, and the videos have just blown up. Yeah, no, it's incredibly difficult to convincingly speak about nonsense, as you put it, the way you do. <laughs> I don't imagine being able to get this right without having a love for sports. Yeah, um, sports is probably my biggest love. Um, that's, that's where it all came from, you know, watching, watching a whole lot of sports, watching a lot of interviews, bad ones as well. <laughs> so you try and <laughs> use, you, use that as, um, as motivation. I think that was, that, was the, that was also the thing coming into trying to tell, show people what to, an interview should be like and take away all the cliches from interviews but sure it all comes from a love of sports i've loved sports since i was fucking, since i can remember i think my life has revolved around sports even now everything i do is pretty much sports orientated yeah man and you know i wonder where the ideas also come from i think part of the latest videos you've done is on load shedding <laughs> The idea, the, the ideas come from anything. To be honest with you, most of them normally come when I should be actually doing marking books and getting ready for work. So that's when the ideas <laughs> normally come. <laughs> when I've got real work to do, I think uh, my brain just drifts off, and I think, man, okay, I know, I know, I should be marking now, but just imagine if I do a video about washing dishes. Okay, cool. That's the, <laughs> and then that's, and then it just sparks off. And then like the load shedding thing is just sometimes you know you try to react to what's happening in, in South Africa, and you're trying, you'd be like, okay, cool. Let me just make a video on load shedding. We all suffer through load shedding, so we all. We all know that pain, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for, for those of us who aren't intimately involved in sports, uh, help us understand the value of something like a post-match analysis. I mean, you are, are, are going to town with it, but there is some value to something like that taking place, right? Yeah, definitely. Especially like, I mean, as fans and people watch sports, you, you watch the game and you sort of have your own opinion as to how the game went and you mm -hmm. want to hear what the coach says and what the captain says and, how, how do they break down the game? And sometimes they don't give you anything. <laughs> sometimes it's just a little bit of cliche. I'm sure you'd know as long as you get cliche interviews, but they don't yeah. give you much. But yeah, it's, it's great to hear. I think you get, you get insight from the coaches and the players, who, the people that were involved. And, and, and as a fan at home, it's, it just gives you such great insight. To, then you feel, like, okay, cool. Now I've got an understanding what they were thinking during the game, what, why they made that decision, why they took that player off, even though I may not agree. Now I know why they did it. Um, so yeah, that's... That's the value for me in a post-match interview. Yeah, I mean, even just our exchange now sounds like a, <laughs> a post-match <laughs> analysis in some, in some respects. Um, but, you know, you've already mentioned your brother is the person asking you the, the questions. Yeah. How's the family responding to your newfound fame? I think it's safe to say that now. Um, so, yeah, the, the response has been a bit crazy. So, obviously, my brother is the cameraman. Um, he's also the, he's the one that judges whether the videos are funny or not. He, he's probably the only one who doesn't find me funny. So if I get a smile, <laughs> just a smile out of him, then I know the video is going to be good. Um, yeah, it's been great. My dad, my dad has been loving it. My mom has been loving it. I've got a lot more privacy now. So when I tell them, okay, listen, I'm going to do a video, they make sure there's no noise in the house. Oh, wow. They make sure everything is cleared up. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, they, 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 the response has been amazing. My sisters and family members, they've been sending and sharing with anyone and everyone. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's, you know, it's been amazing. It really has. And, you know, if you're watching this and you're wondering what we're talking about, let's try to show you one of these sketches from Gusli. Take a look at this. All right. Captain, yeah? Lodging is back. And what are your thoughts? Yeah, tough day. Um, obviously, the first things first, I woke up this morning thinking it was Friday and then it was Thursday. So, yeah, that set me back. And I thought, you know what, at least the day can only get better from there. Jeez, I lied. Yeah, load shading is tough. Um, Obviously now this is about the 945th case of load shedding we've gotten. Um, so it's never you, you think we prepared for it, but yeah, it's never easy to take. Um, but yeah, 
All in all, bad day for bad day for the country, but good day for candle makers. How does it affect your January? Um, it, it changes a lot of things. You know what? I've, I've stated many times in other interviews that January is about four years long, and we have just about to negotiate the, the first years of January, and we're, and we're doing well. I thought as a country we were doing very well. I thought we were back at work, we were training, we were eating well, we were looking very good. I think um, yeah, we, we were able to negotiate um, we'll negotiate January properly, properly. and I think, um, yeah, but then also a bit of complacency started slipping in. We, we got too relaxed. Uh, we we sort of uh, we sort of we sort of forgot what January is, and yeah, and I think our load shedding just put us back on the put us back on the back foot, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's just a part of one of the latest of your sketches. I mean, bad day for South Africans, good day for candle makers. Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> um, you know, the, the punchlines are the hard part. I think you try and, because you want to make the video stick. So you want something, like you want a line that makes people like, you know, like you make people like, hey, remember this video. So I think yeah. the candle makers one, I actually came up with it because at the time, as low shedding happened, my dad asked me and my brother asked me to look for candles around the house. Ah. And then I was like, oh, geez. And then the idea just pops into my head. And yeah, but like once the punchlines come in, then I know the video is going to be good. I think um, that's the hard, that, that's like the hardest part. So thinking of nice punch, but nice punchlines in the middle of the video is just to make it catchy. So yeah, it's just, yeah, it's good fun to come up with it. No, it really is great comic relief. I won't be forgiven if I let you go without uh, <laughs> sort of trying to display what you can do on the spot. One of the big games ahead, Man U, Liverpool, can we get some kind of pre-match analysis from you? Oh, first of all, I ended um, just, you, you put him in the, on the spot show because I've got to speak about two teams that I don't support uh, as a being a Chelsea man. So this hurts that the biggest game of the weekend is uh, Man United and Liverpool. Um, listen, looking at the weekend, yeah, I mean, um, the real winner could be Man United because obviously they're top of the table. And if they win this game, they pull further way ahead. Um, uh, it's going to be a good day for Man United. Uh, bad day for, for Man United um, haters because obviously because we're going to have to put up with them on social media. But... Uh, we're hoping for a draw for, for us so, then, so so everyone is happy. Um, but listen, I think uh, if I look at that fixture, I think uh, Man United are the favourites, even though Liverpool is at home. Um, so yeah, if Man United carry on playing as well as they are and Liverpool, listen, they've been struggling at the moment. So um, they're, obviously, they're obviously holding on at the moment. But yeah, we definitely got to favour Man United going into that game. <laughs> also stuff and appreciate it especially because it's on the spot really uh, some yeah. impressive <laughs> stuff there uh, I, I do wonder though whether there's any thoughts of taking this further I don't even know what that looks like if I'm honest with you but um, if this is the sort of reception you are getting it's certainly highly sought after uh, have you thought about what you're going to do moving forward um, to be honest with you, I, I, I haven't Totally prop uh, thought about it because listen, it, the response has been so crazy. Um, the response has been, and the last couple of weeks weeks have been a whirlwind, especially this week. So, obviously, the, there's looking at making the videos obviously more serious, like uh, putting more thoughts into it and making you know make make a YouTube channel or how do I grow the brand as per se. So, but at the moment, um, at the moment, I'm focused on on work. I've got a work meeting at nine o'clock, a staff meeting. So that's the first focus. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get through that. <laughs> I've got to get through that first and foremost, um, and uh, plan for the year. And lesson plans, kids start on Monday, so with online teaching. So oh. that's the that's the first part I got to get through, and then from there, yeah, I think <laughs> come the weekend, and then I'll start I'll start planning around where to take the videos. Uh, okay, I, I need to carry on with my job. Thank you very much for coming through <laughs> and, and letting us in on Thank what you, you so do. Sure. Look, we love it. It's such such a, a, a needed breakaway from the difficult moment we're facing the world over. So keep at it uh, as long as it keeps you going. We certainly uh, do appreciate it. I know you're going to